for today's video, we will be cooking Filipino chicken and pork adobo. So to start with, we will uh, cut or slice our onions. And when cutting or slicing your onions, just be careful not to cut your fingers as well. And after that, we will set it aside. And after our onions, we will cut our, or we will slice our garlic. And for this chicken and pork adobo, I'll be using half of the garlic because I really love garlic. And again, uh, same as the onions, just be careful in cutting or slicing them so as not to cut your fingers. sliced our onions and garlic, we will prepare um, the things that we need in cooking. So let's start with the pan, our onions and garlic, um, oil, we have slices, we have vinegar, um, and the meat, which is, which is the chicken and the pork. So we'll also be using bay leaf, um, ground peppers and salt and also for this chicken adobo we will be using coke after knowing our ingredients we will start cooking our adobo so to start with we will add our oil just a little of and i've used a virgin coconut oil you know just to be on the healthier side and after that, we, as you can notice, um, I have only added a little of the oil and added the meat. So the purpose for that would be to extract the oil or fats from our meat and to make it a little oily and less fatty once we cook it later. coconut oil and we will start sauteing our onions. So we'll start with the onions. We just want to achieve a somehow golden brown but not really brown. And after our onions, I already put our, or added, our garlic. And same thing, you will just want to achieve a golden brown color for our garlic. After that, to add flavor to our meat, um, after sauteing our onions and garlic, we will put back our chicken and pork. And 
And so after uh, putting back our meat, we will also pour back our broth from boiling our chicken and pork a while ago to add more flavor to our adobo. And again, we will let it simmer for a couple of minutes. Just make sure that it's evenly spread as well. After adding sauces, we will also add vinegar. And as you can see, like the color of our mixture is somehow pale. So later on, we will still add more sauces to add color. And to taste, I also added uh, salt. I also have the pepper or ground pepper. Ground pepper and I have also added peppercorns. After we have added everything, we will let it simmer again to make sure that the taste, I mean the added um, salt, vinegar, uh, slices, and pepper will penetrate our meat. And also to add um, taste and aroma, we will be putting our bay leaves. And we're almost done, but wait, there's more. So one last thing. Um, this is a modern touch for Filipino adobo. So I have copied this uh, version of adobo from one of uh, Filipino food vloggers. So he added Coca-Cola to improve or enhance the texture and the taste as well of adobo. So instead of using sugar, he just used Coca-Cola. Then after adding it, we will let it simmer again. And that's it. We already have our Filipino chicken and pork adobo. And at the end of the video, I have a final photo of our adobo. I hope you enjoyed the vlog.